West Green update Monday 26 May 2014 uh, Today I've uh, finally nailed down the platform roads and I did this final buffer stop um, It's working via just fish plates up to the uh, station throat um, So I've got to put jumpers uh, bond all the rails through the uh, fish plates so you can see the two platform roads these two and this will be a third platform road or just to go just for goods or whatever so um, as you can see it's fairly long the uh, platform is going to come up to here this is about uh, 10, 11 or oh, it depends this long one will be about almost 14 feet long Got a run around loop. This all works. So I'm getting there. Still a lot of work to do. Well, there's more work to do than not to do. I'm gonna put a back scene up, start detailing it. Plus uh, get it round into um, to West Green Station because this is Fieldgate Street. Built this little um, Warning over it, keep the sun off it and the rain. This is all this will all be um in shape, this will all be covered anyway. I'm gonna put battens and put shade cloth on it. So it's even though it's outdoors, it's going to be protected from the wet elements. Up here, this ballast. This is uh this is what's called metal dust, blue metal. Um I pulled out the nails, so, so I had two mil nails, I've still got that one in there. But all of them up here I've pulled out because this is not going anywhere. Uh, I used uh, PVA wood glue, um, you know, you know the deal, water and PVA and a bit of a uh, bit of azure fire, a bit of fairy, whatever it is to uh, help it to flow. Uh, what do they call it? Uh, I don't know. Wetting agent, yeah, that's it. Wet sounds good, doesn't it? So, wetting agent, and um, but the PVA glue is a waterproof, so I've hosed this down. It's rained, it's done everything. It? Monday that's 9th good. of June, it's a long weekend here in Sydney. I've uh, been away for the weekend, so that's good. Just looking down the Fieldgate Street, that's all the tracks down there now. Got a lot to do, got to build platforms now. Uh, I've also got this connection to build. This is just rough templates of what it's going to look like. Here, this is where West Green's going. Um, this template, train crossover, CNL, uh, B8 turnout and a B8 single slit. This, this template was kindly sent to me as a PDF file by Martin Wynn. So thank you for that, Martin, because it's on a it's on a 28.7 meter curve. That's 28.7 real meters. So uh, come up here. Uh, this is uh, there's going to be a goods yard on this side. It's going to be based on the real west green. I don't know if I'll be able to fit it all in because I probably need about another three or four feet in width. Uh, one of the problems of O gauge, I suppose, if it was in double O, wouldn't be a problem. But who wants to use double O? Can't even see the stuff. Anyway, uh, I built this. This is my trailing crossover. I had a bit of fun with this actually when I went to pull the blasted tape off the back up. A few of the sleepers come away. Um, anyway, all experience. These, I must admit, I'm really not happy about these. They don't make properly. And I think I'm just going to have to unsolder them and do them all again. And as someone said, read the butchers at the, uh, Ian Rice's book. This one. Yes, they're not laying flat, so in other words, they're just not laying flat against where the planing is, they're not laying flat against the stock rail, so I've obviously got it wrong. Anyway, um, have a look, tell me what you think. Uh, yeah, I've got to get this, I've got a few issues I've got to sort out. One, I, the, the uh, jury's still out on how I'm going to operate these whether I use some sort of slow servos or some mechanical rodding. I'm even thinking of this um, uh, Modratech lever frame. Uh, yeah, 
my own experience with point motors is double O, Pico, Pico, Fair or Seep. That's it. But anyway, I'm getting there. Thanks for watching.